Cha-ching! Yeah. Woo! All right, there you go. Can you, hold on, let's get, okay. This is my f***ing hat. You're, I won't grab it. Hold on, you're f***ing. Please don't. I Thank promise you. you I can be up here. I can show my tits with everyone. Yes! Woo! Ah, the Women's March. Praised as the biggest activist protest in modern American history, home to celebrities like Rihanna, Amy Schumer, Charlize Theron, Madonna. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. This crazy person. I'm nasty, like my blood stains on my bed sheets we don't actually choose. Now, I know it's become popular to film radical social justice warriors and paint modern progressives with a broad brush, but that wouldn't be fair. I wanted to accurately capture today's liberal mainstream. And where better to do that than the biggest progressive gathering ever? Smash the patriarchy! So remember now, this is mainstream liberalism today. Now, seeing the crowd, uh, my producer, Not Gay Jared, and I realized that we needed a disguise to blend in. Hi, I'm Stephanie with all the frequencies of the feminism, and I am here at the Women's March in Austin to march for progress and equal rights, which are human rights, and uh, we're just going to see what they're marching, everything, we're going to see what happens and, and, and see what's most important moving forward under the Trump administration. And, and Janelle's here for moral support. You don't see Janelle a lot in videos. You're supposed to come in faster. Oh, the perfect cover. We quickly found out that nobody questions, criticizes, nor runs security background checks on trannies. Hands Woo! up our pussies! This pussy grabs back. Even high profile politicians. Yep, that's actually Wendy Davis, but we'll get to that in a second. With Stephanie and Janelle, we could get away with anything. Go anywhere, act any way we wanted, and we were really able to learn uh, what today's progressive issues are all about. And regardless of our anti-racist work, we are also, every single day, both benefiting from and participating in white supremacy. So you're a white supremacist. So I'm a white supremacist. And I'm a white supremacist. And you're a white supremacist. I'm that, so That sorry. kind of hurts, though. And I, Donald Trump, Women's I Rights, Rights Equality, Diversity, Diversity Trump is trying to suppress us! Yeah. I know. So all feminists should be effectively liberal feminist killjoys. Yes. Speak up all the time. All the time. Dinner table. Dinner table. Protests. Protests. Television. TV dinners. Actors and actresses. Ruin the whole conversation. Meryl Streep. Absolutely. Just fuck up those Golden Globes. Fuck it up. It seemed in particular the women demanded an end to misogyny and sexual objectification uh, by focusing entirely on their pussy. Hold on to your I say pussy. My Hold on your pussy. Here's the Don't thing. Don't. This is my pussy hat. Trump. Why is it peeing? I even got to meet one. What are we most... The, woman. the man behind the woman? Not the woman as behind it, the man, the man behind be. the woman. As, it should, as it should be. Contrast that with this man who got to hang around topless women all day by simply claiming he was gay. Face, I face like all sorts of oh, 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 oh. Right. You got game, son. Player. Player. Equal rights. This guy gets it. Yes, these women proved their point through fighting against patriarchy by showing their breasts. I could buy afford those yet. Shut I want them just oh, like this. You will. Oh, now they're, 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 they're not. They're not. They're not. Which is exactly what we don't want. Now, with Trump coming in and the threat of tyranny, as they put it, equal rights were certainly on the mind. So Stephanie and Janelle wanted to find out exactly which rights were most in peril. But as far as right. policy, what should we all be most concerned about with this march, with Donald Trump, and uh, this administration? To you. To you. To me. Like the rights. Think. Specifically to your community or in general? You know, I think personally the in the imminent challenges that are kind of up, like projected or forecasted for the com com country as overall like Oh my gosh. Well can I, I think that concern for me is just this idea that this administration has a right to tell any of us what we can do with our bodies, right. what we can wear on our bodies, right. what we can uh, say about our bodies. Right. I guess I have multiple answers to that. Okay. And and that is our choice, not theirs, and it's not theirs to tell. What we can us wear is certainly not fashion advice from Mike Pence. <laughs> no. Yeah, it seems the only people who had anything close to an answer uh, were these two. They'll make it a felony. They'll make it illegal. They'll make it a felony to have an abortion. They yeah. Make it a felony. Well, to to prison. That. They want to put people in prison for abortion. Yes. See, I didn't know about this. Yeah. But that was pretty stupid. 
So to get clearer, more definitive answers, we decided to go straight to the top. Headlining speaker and de facto feminist leader of the Democratic Party, Wendy Davis. Thank you so much. You're such a, an inspiration. Oh, thank you. Thank you so What's much. What's your name? Stephanie. What rights do you think people should be most concerned about and how they can be active with this incoming administration? I don't think that we can single out a single one. Okay. Oh, skunked again. No answers here either. None of us have our full and equal rights if any of us are missing them, right? right? And I think one of our important missions going forward is every place we see the trampling of our equality, right. we all need to rise together and be there for each other, not in our separate spaces, no. our separate interests, but understanding that each of us Particularly needs to as be strong there women. for each other. As we, no we go. question. My final question. Oh, no. Now, right there, I thought for sure my cover had been blown, but I forgot. Progressives aren't allowed to ask logical questions regarding trannies, even linebacker-sized ones with facial hair, because tolerance. Now, even though Senator Davis had no answers for specific rights uh, being infringed upon, she did have an economic plan to empower women across the country. This is my pussy hat. You're I won't grab it. I Please don't. I Thank promise you. you. And I'm wearing it very proudly, and I want to say something about this project because it's remarkable. Women all over this country and outside the boundaries of this country decided weeks ago that in support of women marching in states yes. everywhere, they were going to make these pussy hats in recognition of our power and to provide as many marchers with these hats as possible. And you called it pussy hat economics. That's right. Okay, so explain that really quickly. We women, when we earn money, we spend money. That's true. And if there's I know. anything <laughs> that we financial want to do responsibility to is the economy, let's pay our women. give it to people who are going to spend what it. We deserve. Okay. Right? Now, if this seems confusing, uh, let me clarify. Wendy Davis, former senator, noted DNC feminist, has created an economic platform based entirely on the negative stereotype that women are fiscally irresponsible shoppers. Okay. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Pussy hat economics. There you you heard it here in Austin. Thank you Thank so much. You, Thank, Thank you so you. much. Let's, sorry, to wrap up, because women spend, what, you're right here? The spending, women spend so much more, you want to give them, it's a, an economic thing. So it's not a sex thing. So what did the world's biggest feminist protests teach us? Well, not much. Mainly that sexual objectification is bad unless women do it. Tits are fun. Bras do legitimately suck. Not gay Jared's a surprisingly good kisser. And Donald Trump wants to infringe upon women's rights, but we're not exactly sure which rights, something, something, something pussy. But what did we accomplish? Well, not a whole lot either, but we felt good about ourselves. It felt good to go on down to the protest, take part, and showcase these people for the insane folks that they are. Hey, I guess we have more in common than we thought. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.